So you might be trying to figure out a few different ways and how you can go ahead and increase the speed of your iPhone and just make your iPhone a faster device overall. Now I talk about this a lot on my second channel, but the first thing you have to remember is that if you are rocking a very old iPhone, now with an iPhone XR, it's not the oldest iPhone of all time, but if it is not a you know newer iPhone, like if you have an iPhone 6s or iPhone 5, there's only so much you can do to increase the speed of that device. Now the first thing I would recommend doing for the most part is if you're on iOS 14 or newer, the best thing you can do is to reduce the amount of widgets that you're using and reduce the amount of you know, background app refresh applications that are there as well. So the first thing I recommend doing, if you have an iPhone 8 or newer, you have widgets on the lock screen, which is the big one. So that is a newer thing that Apple brought in within iOS 16. I don't know, I don't think it's the best thing to do if you have a bunch of widgets on your main display. So the first thing I recommend doing is holding down on your specific panel, going through clicking customize, and or if you already have widgets on, then you don't really have to do this. But if you don't have widgets on, if you want to take a look at it, you go and see we'll have this little bar at the bottom. You want to go ahead and reduce them by just going clicking in the minus buttons and taking these widgets out. That is probably the best thing you can do to go ahead and just make your iPhone that much faster. It's also going to suck up less power as well, which personally is the main thing I'm kind of looking out for. Now do the same thing for the widgets. Reduce the amount of widgets that you're having, and that can help kind of speed up your iPhone for the most part as well. Now, if you have an iPhone that's pretty much running out of storage and you can make your way over to your settings application, click on general, click on iPhone storage, which is right down here. And what you want to do is you want to go and take a look at the amount of storage that you have. If you are almost running out of storage, like your iPhone is pretty much almost done, that is going to be an issue that you're having. So go ahead and remove the amount of applications or just remove and save some storage on your device. And that can help, you know, possibly increase the speed of your iPhone as well. I've seen many different cases, including myself with my iPhone 6S and 7 and my iPhone 6 as well. There was times where my iPhone was almost completely done and my iPhone would shut off. It would have random reboots and that's something you want to avoid. So just go through, make sure that's not the case. And then once you're done there, another thing I can recommend doing is under background app refresh under that same panel. To make your way back into settings, click on general. Click on background app refresh, and here is a big thing. These applications have basically just free reign of just you know sucking up you know power in the background. So the best thing to do here is to just go through and remove as many of these as you can. So keep the ones in which you want notifications on. So basically, if you want to be notified of these apps, then keep them on for sure. Like for Facebook, for example. This is probably the biggest power sucking application out there. It drains your battery and it drains your performance. So if you can access it via you know, your, your internet browser, that's the best thing to do. But in this case, just go through all of these and just reduce and just turn off all these that you have. In my opinion, that is another massive thing you can do. Now, some other things you can try doing is, you know, in some cases, if you're trying to play a bunch of games or if you're, you know, using those type of heavy applications, the best thing you can do here is within these apps, like with Call of Duty Mobile, for example, just go through and see if there's any in-game options that'll actually allow you to, you know, increase the performance or, you know, most of the time you increase the performance by decreasing the graphics. So that's basically the main thing you can do there. Just go ahead and reduce the amount of graphics that, are, you know, the games are in. You can also turn off low power mode. A multitude amount of people are always on low power mode. That's another thing you can do is just turn that off. You can also try restarting your phone and you can also try going through and actually updating your iPhone as well. So just go back over here, go and click on software update, update your phone. And that's another thing you can try doing as well. So those are pretty much some ways that you can go ahead and make your iPhone faster. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.